Intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? In this video, we're going to dive into what is intermittent fasting and some myths and some truths of behind intermittent fasting and how we can use intermittent fasting to our benefit and when we shouldn't be using intermittent fasting. So what is intermittent fasting? Well, originally in the research, intermittent fasting was having periodic days of extremely low calorie intake or no food intake on those days. For example, it might be five days of normal calorie intake and then two days of extremely low calorie intake, like 25% of calories or less or no food at all. So today though, intermittent fasting has kind of been expanded in public knowledge and what we kind of perceive as intermittent fasting. So now there are most popular type of intermittent fasting is something called like a 16-8 breakdown where you fast for 16 hours and you have an eight hour eating window. So this could look like not eating from 8 p.m. all the way to noon. And then from noon to 8 p.m. is when you eat. And intermittent fasting in this way can vary in terms of the eating window. It could be a eight hour eating window. It could be a six hour, five hour, whatever it is. But so now intermittent fasting these days has kind of a broader definition. It's no longer just taking particular days of extremely low calorie intake, but that still applies towards intermittent fasting. So when someone is talking about intermittent fasting, you need to first define what kind of intermittent fasting they're talking about. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk more about kind of the 16-8 breakdown or the breakdown when it comes to each and every day. Now, a myth about intermittent fasting especially when it comes to doing 16 hours of fasting or a little bit more and eight hours of eating or a little bit less is that it creates something called autophagy, which is basically your body breaking down old cells and using that for energy. Now, the research doesn't really support this notion. Research shows that it actually takes around 24 hours, a little bit longer for autophagy actually to start. So in those 16 hours, it isn't necessarily really creating autophagy. It isn't really happening in that short period of fasting. But if you've seen research supporting that, I would love to see it. Please put it in the comments below. Now, intermittent fasting has also been said to be kind of the holy grail for weight loss. Now, that's not necessary as well. That's, now, that's because weight loss really depends on a caloric deficit. And we can help doing intermittent fasting because we are having a lower period of eating. So we have a smaller period to eat and to get all our calories in. So it can make it harder to actually get all those calories in to maintain your weight or to gain weight. So it can make it easier to lose weight. So for example, I need to eat around 3000 calories a day in order to maintain my weight. And that's because I'm exercising and moving around quite a bit. Now, that means if I'm intermittent fasting, I have about eight hours, let's say I'm doing 16, eight, eight hours to eat my 3000 calories versus having the whole day, the 12 hours or more that I normally eat. So it can make it harder for me to get those 3,000 calories in it in that shorter eating window, which means it can be easier for me to actually get into a caloric deficit. Now, this isn't necessarily true that if I'm in a shorter period of eating, then I'm going to be in a caloric deficit. This can cause some people to be like, hey, this is my eating window. Now I'm going to go out. I'm going to eat like some Big Macs. I'm going to eat, you know, KFC. I'm going to blah, blah, blah. I'm going to eat some stuff that's very high in calories. And they might actually end up in a caloric surplus which might not actually lead to weight loss. So we still need to be in a caloric deficit whether you're intermittent fasting or not, but it can be a useful technique to help you to restrict calories by shortening up your eating window. So it's not necessarily true that just by intermittent fasting, you're gonna lose weight. You still need to be in a caloric deficit. So intermittent fasting can be a great tool. Today, I intermittent fasted. I didn't eat till about 1 p.m. And that's because I woke up, I wasn't hungry, I wasn't gonna work out until about noon. And then I worked out and then I ate right after. And that's something to note when it comes to intermittent fasting. That if you are looking to maintain or put on lean muscle and you are exercising in the morning, that intermittent fasting might not be the best idea for you. This is because research has shown that to re, uh, increase our amino acid levels, it's best to eat within kind of a two hour period after your workout. So if you're looking to maximize your muscle gain, your strength, stuff like that, it'll be best to kind of eat within that two hour window after your workout. So if you're intermittent fasting 
and you are working out first in the morning, say 6 p.m., 6 a.m., but then you are not eating all the way to noon, you have a long period where you have nothing to replenish those amino acid stores, replenish those uh, glucagon stores, anything like that to really start that process of building muscle. So we need to pay attention to that. So you need to pay attention to what your lifestyle is, what your goals are, and does intermittent fasting actually support it? Now you could actually switch your eating window. You could do, for example, at 16 to 8, but now let's say you work out at 6 a.m., you're done by 7, your eating window can start at 7 a.m. and stop at 3 p.m. So intermittent fasting can work for you if that is the way you want to go. Now for myself, I don't intermittent fast all the time. I do it periodically. And today is day four of the Trim and Tone Challenge, and I did it today because, as I said, I wasn't working out till later on, and I didn't, I wasn't hungry in the morning. So I thought, why eat right now? I'm not just gonna eat because it's time to eat. I listen to my body and what it tells me. Intermittent fasting is another tool that I use sometimes. Then let's say I know I'm going out for dinner or I have a day out with some friends. I know that my caloric intake is gonna be a lot higher in that second half of the day. And I want to kind of you know, do a preemptive strike. So what I'll do is I'll actually intermittent fast. I won't eat for that morning. And then when I'm going out, I know that I have more calories to work with for the rest of the day. So intermittent fasting can be a powerful tool for weight loss, for you know health in general. But we need to make sure that it is aligned with our goals. Now, research has also shown that intermittent fasting, Mediterranean diet, other diets, for example, they can all help with weight loss. But there isn't one that's necessarily, you know, superior to the others. They all work and they can all help with weight loss. They can all help with health as well. But once again, you know, make sure what is best for you, what is best for your goals, and what are you able to actually adhere to. All right. So if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've tried intermittent fasting, how it's gone for you, if you like it, if you don't like it. And if you have done it, what eating window have you done? Have you done alternate day fasting? Have you done the 16-8? Have you done uh, the 20 and 4? What have you done with it? And if you haven't done it, uh, are you interested in trying it? Or what diets have you done that have worked for you or haven't worked for you? Comment and subscribe.